Enters to his T-Tars, Yakety Yak, owned by Glenn Collins with Mike Wilder. Three, Why Waste Time is owned by James Cruz with Scott Marr. There's the 4LB reply owned by Leonard Buckner with Tom Brinkerhoff. Five horses, main force, owned by Hatfield Stables, but Hatfield is in the bike. Six, Prakavan is owned by Lawrence Long with Bill Long Jr. Number seven is Holly Day Exchange, owned by Douglas Gingrich with James Woolhams. The eight is Grand Debonair, owned by Jerry Grant with Ron Stack. Nine horses, Wolf Road, owned by Harold Breidenbach with Harold Dick and the ten. Laddie's Blue Boy is owned by Leonard Cooper with Darren Mauser. Post time for the sixth race is coming up in seven minutes. The nine, Wolf Road, they're approaching the start. And they're off and trotting. Also off stride, Holly Hill Exchange. Far outside, Grand Debonair is out fast, along with Main Force from between them. Titar's Yakety Yak along the inside gets away third. Prakavan driving up three deep from fourth. Next, it's Why Waste Time settling into fifth. KF Bud next up six. Two and a, two and a half look back to Laddie's Blue Boy. Catching her gate on the outside is Holly Day Exchange, and then it's LB Reply, and far out of it is Wolf Road as they make their way over to the quarter mile station, and they clock over there in 29 and one fifth. Passing the stands for the first time, Bill Long Jr. drives Prakavan to the top and quickly sprints away by three and a half lengths from Grand Debonair second, main force third. Two lengths back, T-Tars Yakety Yak is fourth. Why Waste Time is next from fifth. KF Bud then three farther back to Laddie's Blue Boy, Holly Day Exchange, LB Reply, far out of it, Wolf Road, as they make their way around the turn to the half mile pole, and it's Prakavan on top. Prakavan by just a length. Grand Debonair sitting in the pocket second. There goes T-Tars Yakety Yak driving up on the outside third. Along the inside, Main Force is racing fourth through a half and 59 and three. Heading up the backside, Prakavan slowing it down just a bit, has the lead by two lengths. Grand Debonair is racing in second. On the outside, T-Tars Yakety Yak is starting to kick into gear now. Two off the tempo in third, followed by Main Force at the rail in fourth. Why waste time second over with some trot in fifth? Followed by Laddie's Blue Boy, then three farther back to LB Reply, who's getting underway with seven to make up. KF Bud could not go on. Then it's Holly Day Exchange, three quarters, 129 and three. Moving to the top of the stretch, it's Prakavan on top. Prakavan by a length and a half. Grand Debonair is racing in second. T-Tars Yakety Yak, that bid never came through. Followed at the inside by Main Force as they make their way into the stretch, and they are starting to come after Prakavan. Quickly, Grand Debonair takes over the top spot. Center of the course, LB Reply is closing in with Main Force shooting through at the inside. It's Grand Debonair, Main Force center of the course, LB reply, but Main Force gets up the inside for the win. Grand Debonair was second, tight for third over T-Tars, Yakety Yak, and the four LB reply who broke stride. Returning back to the winner's circle, the five, Main Force, a seven-year-old son of Super Bowl from Miss Elma by Florida Pro, owned by the Hatfield Stables of Columbus, Ohio, David Myrick, the trainer, and Mr. Bud Hatfield in the bike for Main Force's first win of the season, this time in 201 and 3.